Jenna everybody and welcome to my Disney vlog which is all about the Disney trip me and Demi went on while in Tokyo 2018. The first day we were just casual normal human beings enjoying the rides. The two cosplay days were day two and three, and those were spent in Magic Kingdom, while the first day was spent at Disney Sea. Since we've been to Disneyland before, we knew that the rides we wanted to go on in Disney Sea were quite fast roller coasters. We also had a strategic plan to get the fast pass as quickly as possible for Journey to the Center of the Earth, since we know that that one is one of the roller coasters that sells out first. Then, as you can see, we went back to the start and got our cute little ears and just looked at the little shopping places so we then could keep on moving while looking cute. I believe now is the time to let real life real-time Disney Hannah take over, so take it away! Messy. <laughs> Are you excited? We almost died. Yes. Yes. <laughs> They move. <laughs> I'm missing. Now it's time for the salt ice Well, first it's time for fast pass <laughs> on Indiana Jones, <laughs> and then it's time for sea salt ice cream and some uh, coffee and some okay. drinks. Because there is the Indiana Jones. Movie. Yes. Okay. So here was when we saw Sora and Rika the last time we were here. Where I decided. Tomorrow it's gonna be Sora and Riku. Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna do Sora and Riku and doing some fun video shooting weird stuff. Very exciting. Gonna be lots of fun. <laughs> Very nice. But today is just chilling. Doing everything we can't do in costumes. Like eating. Like eating. <laughs> and also going on rides. Which is what we're doing now. Very exciting. I think it's based on the same one that's on in Paris. That I've already oh, There's Timon! He's hiding. There he is. Where's Pumba? Where's Best Boy? Saab. I want to try those ones as well. The ones that the kids are eating. They could be pineapple though. Oh, that's not good. I don't like pineapple. Desperately looking for sea salt ice cream. But we're going in. Buying drinks and coffee. Because I think last time we came from um, the other side. So I think that's why we missed it. This place is the coolest. Yes, it's very pretty. Finally! Good, good, good. Um, I'm sorry for the bad lighting. Um, it's melon soda with pineapple syrup. I actually hate pineapple and I don't like the melon soda. But I really, really wanted to try it out since it's seasonal. Oh my god, no. Amanda just got kohi huret. And this one with Mickey on it. Oh my god, she don't. She do, She always needs like lots and lots of milk and sugar and shit in her coffee. So I guess that's. No, I stop with sugar. Just milk. Oh. Just a shit ton of milk. <laughs> oh well. Good. Good. Now let's eat. Mm. Going with me since I didn't film it when I opened it. But this is how it looks inside. It's very good. It doesn't taste a lot of salt. No. It's basically like the jam that's on top. It has a bit of salt in it. So it's kind of sweet and yet salty, 
which is where the sea salt thing comes in too. Uh, but it doesn't, it's basically like vanilla ice cream with a bit of jam on top. A bit of trivia for you guys, so mm -hmm. Nomura actually went here and he had this ice cream and he was like, yeah, I like this ice cream, I'll put it in the game. Yes, and then you just change the appearance because obviously yeah. it doesn't look like this. But it's actually really but, good. But, 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 it's a wafer. Um, it's not like a wafer, like an ice cream wafer, but in the manga, they have like this biscuit instead for some reason. But I'm guessing it's kind of a thing um, since it's kind of a... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is a kind of wafer -y thing. It's not a like real wafer. It's very strange. But it's okay. It's more soft than like a normal ice cream wafer. I yeah, think. it's not like crunchy. Not as crunchy. It's very good. It's very nice. Ah. Mm. Amazing. So far, I've used five <laughs> milk cartridges. Just letting you know. Fortunately enough, it doesn't taste too much of pineapple, but it doesn't taste too much of the fake it melon. Tastes like tropical. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Because the thing with the fake melon stuff is that it usually just tastes weird. But it tastes like rubber. So yeah. That's what it tastes like. But now it actually if tastes you like the melon better. Soda, you're but now it actually tastes better with the combo, which is good, which is very nice. Look at the little ghosties. Ah, the little ghosties. They're very, very cute. Very cute. Very cute. I just remembered. I haven't filmed myself at all. So I have the duffy ears. Apparently you're not supposed to see me. Now we're done Indiana Jones, waiting for the next Indiana Jones. And we're getting some snacks from Arabia. Here's the snacks place. So I think we should go there. Ah, boo! Here's the new curry bun. They removed Simba. They removed my Shandu's tail bun that I loved, so I'm hoping this is just as good. It's supposed to be curry instead. Simba. It was really good. It had some curry inside of it. Um, actually had a lot more flavor than the last one. So I actually think it's an improvement. Good job, Disney. Demo is eating nuts or rice crackers. Oh, rice crackers yeah. oh, okay. Seven eleven. Good. Nice. I just wanted to explain that now we're sitting eating very 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 tired very wet since it was pouring rain our shoes were soaked it was cold so we went home we didn't see the last show because they cancelled it 
Earth, then came the day for Kingdom Hearts 3. We went as Sora and Riku day two. We were actually uh, recording a video together with Rescue the Princess. I will leave his channel down below. And he made a beautiful video with us in the park. You see like random spikes popping up. Oh, there we go. After Rescue's video was released, we had tons of people asking us how we managed to get uh, <laughs> the crowds away from our shots because we we're always alone in the shots. Actually, we just, we found a place we wanted to film and then we just stood there <laughs> until we saw a gap and there were no people there for like 10 milliseconds. We ran out, post, filmed and then the second we saw new people, we stopped filming and moved away so we wouldn't be in the way. Because here's the thing, not only did we want to be nice to the guests who had paid to get into the park and ruin their experience uh, to be in the way of where they would want to go or want to look at a door up close or anything. So we were really, really keen on always moving when we saw people. But there's also tons of security in the park and they didn't really seem to enjoy our presence in the park. We, to this day, actually don't know really what we did wrong. I'm so hungry. Same though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Such good. Woo! We know that it's not allowed to have cosplays in Disneyland during the regular seasons, but it's actually allowed during Halloween in Disney. So we had checked that and it was an official list of what you were allowed to cosplay and Kingdom Hearts was on the list. So we were allowed to be Sora and Riku and there were no restraints to uh, restrictions to filming or having film equipment uh, and it was like the only rule was that you couldn't have props that were a certain amount of length I can't really remember but his film equipment was shorter than the prop length restrictment so we weren't being in the way with either props or well, us, because we moved, and we weren't breaking any rules, because, guys, I'm very keen on rules, so I knew all of the rules, so we weren't breaking any rules, and we were moving, and here's the thing, other cosplayers weren't. Uh, there was a Belle cosplayer in front of the castle, through the main entrance, she sat at the main entrance with her dress all spread out, so no one could pass her, security saw her, and they didn't tell her to move. And there was also a time when two cosplayers were blocking a stair that actually was, we had to like exit through the stair from a place we had been earlier. And we couldn't really pass smoothly. And, a, and like a cast member was taking their photo. So I don't really understand because it was okay for other cosplayers to be in the way but not for us because we had all we always had like a cast member or security watching us everywhere and they were talking through their earpieces and poking other security people poking pointing at us True, Sora. <laughs> so I just want to be honest with 
how the whole experience went down since a lot of people have asked but if you know why they were so on to us or just hanging around us all the time please let me know so i know in the future because i really want to go back there as riku or as a kingdom hearts character so please let me know if you know why we're going on a train At about 2 p.m. we had to say goodbye to rescue since he had to go off to somewhere else but we are so thankful that he just spontaneously came to the park with us and eternalized a memory for us and something that's been a dream of ours for so long. <laughs> we then had a little fika pause which was very welcomed because we were very tired <laughs> this is just ice <laughs> this is mike wasowski yes mm -hmm. <laughs> sanitary issues we don't want to hold anything with his hands but i have poking issues i want to poke stuff you can poke after <laughs> You were filming it already. I'm filming when I'm eating it. Ugh. Just film the other side. Oh my god. I want them all. It's not good. This is not good. But this one is so funny though! Can we take both? <laughs> yes. How, how do I get this one? We don't know. Like this could probably work. Oh. We spent the rest of our day going on as many rides as we could and due to Kingdom Hearts feels, we tried to go on rides that are from worlds that are included in the Kingdom Hearts series and now are added in Kingdom Hearts 3 so that was nice uh, Who's that good boy? If you've seen my Japan vlog, you know that it was raining basically our whole trip in Japan. And Disneyland was no exception, but since it's Disneyland and since it's Japan, we were happy. Anyway, it's just got our feet a little colder. Darkness. Logception. Oh, yeah. Apparently, I was allergic to something in the lashes, so I took them off. I hope you love me anyway. Nope. <laughs> Sad. Oh. So tired. Well, we have been up since five. Yeah, I know. And it's been fun. We've been doing a lot of filming and cool stuff. Uh, which, is, which is which is why I haven't been able to film so much. Because we've been busy, and then it started raining.
And the third day was spent as Goofy Movie. So Max and Roxanne. And you might think, but Hannah, isn't that a little odd? And well, maybe, <laughs> but we really like Goofy Movie and it has nice music, which we jam to all the time and you will see it later. And it was tons of fun. And it's actually, since it's a bit more casual, we could go on rides in Disneyland as well without wig concerns. It's the Badab! Amazing. We're doing Goofy Movie today! Lots of fun! I'm so excited. So much fun. I look like a douche. But... It's so much fun. Here's watermelons. Pumpkin water. Like watermelons do, I guess. Ah. camera has officially been stolen, so, because Max is getting popcorn, a disgusting caramel popcorn, but this is better than the uh, soy sauce and butter popcorn, which they have here for some reason, don't ask why, I will never taste them, that was disgusting, bye bye. It's amazing. It's chicken and tomato. It's grape with white sour. Whatever that is. It's good. Don't tell me when I'm eating. It's so fun because you look like a dog <laughs> eating yeah. on a bone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Strawberry. The waiter was chocolate. I think the last one is caramel. I'm not sure. But it was good. <laughs> actually went home a little bit earlier which is insane for a Disney lover like me to go home early from Disneyland but we were super tired and then we needed to buy some things at a Sistwig and we were cold we wanted to take some pedicure so it was it was just the best option but we had a nice jamming time later
And since I'm new to this whole vlogging thing, I didn't vlog an ending. So thank you so much for watching this video. I don't I don't know if you learned anything, but perhaps about the whole cosplay at Disneyland thing. If you have any more questions about that, uh, you can ask me. Absolutely. I know actually quite a lot about it since I've done quite some research because I didn't want to have us being thrown out or anything like that. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye.